It's Alec Kinski with D1 Circuit. We're standing here with uh, All Ohio Red uh, Junior Ford Thomas Kithier. You guys are fresh off a session opening win here uh, at EYB Atlanta. Now eight and one on the season. Really, if you win the next, you know, your next three games, you're going to be number one in the EYBL. How's that feeling? How? Uh, uh, how's the session gone for you so far? Oh, uh, it's gone really good. I think I just had 17 and a like, great team win versus Wisconsin Playground. You know, uh, I was working good with uh, my future point guard, Foster Lawyer, and also uh, Vince Williams and Jordan Mitchell. They both had good games, and it's just uh, we're looking really good for uh, our Peach Jam spot coming up in July. You mentioned Peach Jam last year, uh, all Ohio. You weren't part of the team, but 116, the 16 E Peach Jam. Uh, you kind of notice that the uh, guys you play around play with that type of confidence that they came off that win. I mean, yeah, I think they do because they know what to expect. They know what Peach Jam, like, they know what it takes someone to Peach Jam. So they know the toughness. They know that you got to start on the defensive side first. No matter you're playing man, a zone, no matter what. I think every guy, uh, bottom, top to bottom of our roster, knows what it does to win, knows what it takes to win. That's, that's definitely a key. You guys play as a team really well together. Do you adjust the way you play, you know, running alongside such elite talent? Uh, I don't think so. You know, I'm ne I've never been a selfish player. You know, I always uh, get, to the guy, get the open pass. So open guys, so, you know, it really hasn't affected me. You know, I'm still putting up good numbers in the YBL with a great team, so uh, no complaints from me. You mentioned uh, running with Foster. You said off camera that's one of the big reasons you came over to All Ohio Red. Um, how excited are you to, you know, develop that chemistry with him right now and then run with him at Michigan State where you guys are headed in 2018? I mean, Foster, that's my guy, man. You know, I love him to death. Always joking around, you know, and then on the court we're 100% serious all the time. You know, it's just going to give us a, a great step forward time we get to Michigan State with Coach Tom Izzo. You know, and just develop a good relationship. So when we get to Michigan State in the summer of uh, next year, we'll be uh, running and gunning with the older guys trying to get playing time. What do you think you need to improve? What have you uh, pinpointed you got to improve in your game before you step on campus? Before I step on campus, I say, uh, I say my uh, like one shot, like dribble, like a dribble pull up, like coming off the dribble, just trying to make open jump shots, you know, and contests in the lane, just like coming up. I mean, that's that's my main uh, point of emphasis coming into the season. Any idea what you're going to study in college? Uh, I want to go into the business school at Michigan State, try to get a marketing degree. Very nice. It's my major. Uh, last, uh, last question we're asking this to all the guys so far. Uh, right now, only nine of 50 states have a shot clock. Do you think that's something that should be instituted across uh, the entire United States for high school basketball? Absolutely. I think it's a, it's a part of the game of basketball. You know, they have it at college, NBA levels. They have it overseas. I mean, I think... I think it's good if they implement a shot clock and learns teams uh, to play together better. And you know, it's just like in high school, like in Michigan, like teams can just hold the ball for minutes at a time and make not make basketball not fun. I mean, not not even that. I just think there should be a shot clock uh, in all states. Yeah, it really, it would evolve the game. I think a lot and really prepare guys better as well. Yeah, I think it would get guys definitely more prepared for college with the shot clock. Absolutely. Well, uh, Thomas here is going to be preparing to go to Michigan State next year. Uh, this has been Alec Kinski with D1 Circuit.